just a few moments, but I'm going to experiment with using a limited palette today. I tried this uh, in the studio and I, I had a very uh, nice painting come out of it. So the colors that I'm going to be using are brown, yellow, kind of like a yellow ochre, and uh, a blue, which is, uh, is pretty much similar to an ultramarine blue. And then I'm going to use white and black for the tonal uh, and value uh, of the pastels. So that way I can get the depth. If I don't use those two colors, then uh, everything's going to be basically the same value. So I have to kind of push and pull the values to get the dimension in the painting. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see the actual uh, location that I'm going to be painting. And then I've already done a little sketch of my design, my composition, and I'll show you that in just a few moments. And then we'll transfer it to the uh, pastel mat and get started on the painting. As I was setting up here, I've got a bull that's not happy that I'm here, and I might have to leave if he continues to um, come toward me. Um, a lot of the females are in heat, and he's a new to our herd, so I don't know. Hey, 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 hey! Get away, get away! Come on, guys! Get away from my easel! The cows left and the bull went with the, uh, the females, so luckily they did not knock over my easel. I was a little concerned there for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and now start the drawing. This is the design that I came up with. I did put a few cows uh, in the foreground here and here, and maybe one over here, uh, just to give it some visual interest and the barn is in the background. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to my pastel paper so we can get started with the painting. This drawing isn't very large. I, I do this format that's panoramic and it's 11 and 3 quarters inches by about 4 and 3 quarters inches. And there's actually some cows over here on my neighbor's farm. planted soybeans and, and this this is the uh, farm ground right here. This is just uh, part of the barn lawn here. It goes down on a slope. And then uh, these are going to be cows that I'm going to put in the picture. So what what you can do is you can take some photographs of cows and then then add them to your painting. So 
Uh, I'm just mapping out my design. where I'm going to start. And so again I'm, I'm using a limited palette and we have a lot of beautiful clouds today. I'm going to start by just laying in white. And then I'm going to bring in the blue around it. And I'm trying a little different if you've watched any of my videos before by using this type of pastel map with these clips, but I have trouble with it moving around and getting blown in the wind, so I made the cut of a map, piece of mat board, and it's hopefully it will hold it a little more steady. sponging it with my finger to soften it and to also blend. And then we're going to come back with some more white over top of it and maybe a little bit of gray to capture the bottom of the clouds. So if you, if you look at clouds, you'll see that typically at the bottom, because of the shadow, they have gray in them. So I'm going to use, I have some black here.
Now the clouds that are further away, are they're more flat, and they're closer together. So I'm trying to capture that look. And so as they come closer to you, they get bigger and more vertical. That's a little blue in there. We're gonna do some sky holes. There's a set of trees right here. So I'm just putting some blue in there because there's gonna be some sky holes. We'll see how this is going to work here. Like I said this can be very interesting. Now it's totally different than um, using oil paints. It doesn't mix as fluidly. And the green is is a lot different than what I normally use, which could be a good thing. I don't know here. Like I said, the painting that I did in the studio turned out really nice. And I'll show you what it looked like. It was just a 15-minute uh, study, which I made up the scene. But I'll show you here in the video when I edit what that painting looks like and we'll see if this is a success or not when I'm done. But I thought, well, it would be really nice to have limited pastels when you go on a vacation and if you can get great results with that then you don't have to take all these pastels which would make it easier for travel. Okay, now this is further behind is another tree line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make white because it's going to be lighter in value. And I think I'm going to gray it a little bit. So I'm going to take some black in here and turn that down. And then I'm going to take yellow.
and there's a more shadow toward the bottom of this tree line, so I'm just going to put more black in there. It's awfully windy. It seems like it's always windy. I'm on, I'm on a hill, so it seems like it's always windy in this area.
so far I'm not real happy with this at all. So I might just go ahead and add some more. So I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna add some green and I'm gonna go ahead and add red to the palette. Just because I'm struggling here to get the variation in colors. Just...
holding the bag into the distance. Part it just makes it so much more so far as I know this one is like very easily working. So it's good to just like that. And so far, I'm really hating this painting. <laughs> it's it's pretty awful. Pretty awful.
put the painting uh, away overnight and I came back and looked at it this morning and there was a couple things that I didn't like about the painting so made a decision to make those changes. First of all, I thought the field was too green and that it actually needed to look more earthy so I changed it more to a earthy color and I think that really helped add more visual interest in the painting. I also changed the trees in the background. I added more of a gray green and a yellow to them and that gave it more uh, aerial perspective. It gave it more depth and so I was ha much happier with it when I made that shift. And um, the other thing that I did was I uh, blurred the barn slightly so the edges weren't so hard. That also gives the appearance of um, being farther away. Because when things are farther away, they do, they do not have sharp edges. They're very unclear. It's kind of like having poor vision. The far, farther you see back, the, you know, the less crisp something is. So I wanted to blur that so that didn't stand out in the painting because I wanted the cows in the foreground to really be the focus of the painting. And so with those shifts, I felt that the painting was finished and uh, said it was time to move on to another painting. So I hope that you've enjoyed this um, video, that you've learned a few things, as I've learned a couple things just by uh, doing the video with you. And if you have any questions or things that you want to learn, leave a comment and I'll do my best to incorporate it into my next painting video. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time back at the easel.